Cat. It's Maximus here. Just wanted to do another video about one of these Tanisha Torx screwdrivers. They are considered a premium brand of Torx screwdriver. Automotive, motorcycle, that kind of mechanics. You don't run this brand very much. They tend, they're really known for precision torque drivers using the electronics, medical, uh, those types of industries where you're working with small fasteners and you need to have them torqued down to very specific amounts and what i mean this is an older model which i don't believe they make one this compact anymore as you can see this is just a cute little torque screwdriver it's unidirectional so it will do the click torque limiting in one direction and then it just acts as a normal screwdriver in the reverse direction and i assume part of it's the mechanism and another thing is maybe you want to retorque something so you can screw it down loosen it and then go back to torque it again as far as the range we know it's precision if you look here it goes from one to six pound foot inches so maximum torque is six inch pounds this other scale is actually just half so you what you have is the, the spinning at 360 degrees goes up half an inch pound as we can see the graduations here each tick mark is point zero two five inch pounds so you can really get precise so just adjusting it you just twist it up like any other torque wrench and of course when you're done using it you do want to set it back down to zero of course one of the issues with a torque wrench like this it's just a fact that the darn numbers are just so small and you pretty much need a magnifying glass to be able to read the graduations across here or up here but you don't really adjust it that much this is an older Tanichi because we can see it has the cursor style writing on it. Newer ones have a block style writing on them. This also, the older ones, surprisingly enough, didn't have a model number on them at all. There, this may be, you know, the manufacturer that had this. I'm not exactly sure. We do have a calibration sticker over the back, probably covering up some type of screw. Beautifully made, of course, they use quarter inch hex. Don't use one inch bits because they're made for two inch or longer bits. And if you use a one inch bit, it will get lost down inside the shank. I got this for real cheap because of that very reason. There's a one inch bit and it was stuck totally down in there. And it was a bear. I had to remove this clip so I could pop out the retention ball so I could put in a, a very hard pick to press against the side of the bit and kind of work it out to get it out. And so that's how I even ended up in my hands was the fact that somebody lost a one inch bit and basically decided to write it off. So use two inch bits and that's all it is. It's just a torque screwdriver for very precision, uh, precise values. Every day, the bar, the closest thing might be working on laptops or computers. Um, some manufacturers do and various other electronics include torque specifications for their screws and they're tiny screws with very small values, and so the only way that you're really going to be able to get a proper torque on them is with really small precision torque screwdrivers. And I just thought this thing was super cute. Since I already owned a Tonichi, this was just in a box of tools, uh, I immediately recognized it because of the aluminum body and the gold anodization. So, they still are around. The prices are actually pretty reasonable considering... Uh, that they're a precision instrument in a kind of a unique industry. And just wanted to do a little review of an older Model 1. And uh, probably one of the smallest ones they made. And probably one of the, you know, among the world's smallest uh, torque screwdrivers. It's really hard to get, really get a torque wrench much smaller than this. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.